Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal, and in this segment, we'll talk about 568A and 568B wiring schemes, which are the two basic wiring schemes you find out there for data networks today, but can actually be used for phone services too. Now, to understand where these two come from, 568A comes out first, and you gotta understand in the middle of the 1980s, we merged computers into phone systems, and where we used to have to run 25 pairs of telephone wire to an outlet in a room for a phone, we got to a point where we could do everything over two pairs. Now, if you look at old, older phone circuits, we call them USOC wiring, you'll see pairs one and two are in the exact same spots that we end up having them on 568A here. So uh, uh, they're in the same. That's how come I can take a category jack like this, and I want to run phone across it. I can across those middle two pairs, and a traditional RJ11 phone plug for conduct will pl plug into the jack and hit those four middle wires for me, which is what I needed it to do, okay? Now, uh, I could also use this jack for data, because if you remember our conversations about Ethernet and five uh, and uh, either 10 base T or 100 base T, you'll remember that the computers are utilizing pair two and three in a jack, uh, and one of those is a transmit, one's a receive, and then that's how come I can plug a computer into this jack in most applications So uh, as well. So the jack could be phone, could be data, depending on what you give it on the other end of this cable here. Okay, makes sense? Well, all this gets ratified to prove a bunch of people don't actually like this concept. And it's interesting, uh, all the data guys don't like this idea because if we accidentally plug computers into phone lines, we could potentially damage the computers. So we push through what's called the B format. And uh, so all data guys wire in B. And be truthful with you, the, almost the entire world wires in B. Uh, not many people wire in A. And the only time we find A is in sometimes government work. And sometimes you'll also find it in the residential networking world where uh, you'll find the residential standards call out wiring an A because we like the jack to be one or the other. Well, 568A and B both have the same problem about plugging a computer into a phone line accidentally. But what's the difference is that uh, we always changed in B where the color is orange and green. So uh, this is orange here and there it's green and of course it's vice versa in the middle there. And so if you actually cover up the colors and you look at the pairing of the two, you'll see that the pairing is exactly the same. There is actually no difference between A and B other than those colors have been flipped around. And again, the machines don't know what color the wire is. So, but the pairing is very important. We need to make sure pins one and two make a pair, uh, three and six makes a pair, four and five and seven and eight, they all make pairs. And really the color doesn't really matter. Uh, other than someone coming in behind you would expect line one to be blue and line two to be orange and line three to be green and so on and so forth. So all data guys wire and B, okay? And when you go out and buy uh, uh, equipment and, uh, and patch cords, uh, when you wire it up, both ends have to be A or B, both got to be B, and other than that, they're totally interchangeable. You can plug an A patch cord into a B system and vice versa, as long as that pairing is correct on either end of these cables. You wouldn't want to put an A on one side and a B on the other, uh, and that's actually called a crossover cable, which is something we don't see too much anymore, uh, but uh, that's the difference. So there is really no difference between A and B, to be truthful with you. So all data guys wire in B, uh, God love them. And it, occasionally we'll see AUs and residential and some government work, okay? So I hope that helped you. And if it didn't, uh, refer to my wire color code configuration uh, video on data, and I have a pretty long conversation about that. All right, thanks for coming. We'll see you on the next one.